Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, I'm Painting Han. Today's painting is Fall Leaves. Fall trees which turned the beautiful colors red, yellow, and orange, some of the reddish orange. I went there a month ago, took a lot of photos and painted it there. Here is a reference photo that I took. It was incredible scenery and I got fall vibes. So I want to share with you what I saw. In this painting, we will not need a detailed sketch. Just try a simple sketch. So just draw the ground area and some few trees shape on the ground. I want to paint in a realistic style. So we are going to approach a sort of abstract painting. I think it will be fun. Shall we start? I will place a ground here and there, um, and another tree is there. Colors yellow, orange, crimson lake, brown, green, Prussian blue. And we are going to use weather net, loose style on the sky and trees, also ground. Only except trees trunk. So first step, start by wetting the paper sky and half top of the tree area with clean water to take a bit of watery Prussian blue and put on the sky. Tilt the paper and Add on the sky with darker blue as a secondary color and tilt the paper again side to side and back and forth until they spread themselves. Next, second step, uh, let's paint the leaves. Take a reddish orange, put it on a tree. Start a little bit of light density of red color and to add dark and thick red colors in the middle of the trees, here and there. And I'm using a a um, mixture of red and crimson lake on the center area um, some of the uh, dotting and some uh, orange color put on there I want to pop out these trees and moving on to paint another tree I'm going to use orange, yellow and crimson lake for these trees I did the first layer with light color and then I will wait until this area is dried a bit. I will be back. For the next tree, I will go to paint by watery yellow first and a sort of orange colors here. As you can see, I'm doing to leave a small negative space between trees and leaves because I don't want these trees to look too connected to each other. If I paint too closely to all colors of leaves, it would be dark. That's why I'm giving them some small space and air on the leaves and between tree. Try another um, greenish trees and yellowish trees and add some dark uh, density of colors put on the center and orange color trees and what I'm doing now is breaking up the shape of the leaves 
I want to create the shapes of the leaves. So take some dark density of color instead of muted orange and uh, green colors. When you paint the leaves as a second layer and third, rub and wiggle the hair of the brush on the paper. You will create the shape of the leaves. And I want to draw a small space, a small shape of the green trees. And I, I don't want to just follow the reference for an image. And now I'm some of the uh, touching in detail area with the dark density of colors. Yeah, this painting is really giving me fall vibes and going back to a month ago in that spot. Next, I'm going to draw tree trunks with dried brushes. I mean, I'm using that much water holding in the brush, also paper too, because I really want to create roughness in the tree trunks. Try to draw the different shape of the trunks. It's like a thin trunk or thicker one. Also try to paint some various colors in the trunks. Do not think of the original trunk colors. Uh, it's like a brown or dark brown. Sometimes we need to try different things in paintings. Therefore, we can feel free to draw, right? So um, I'm using the knife or uh, shape something, um, kind of nail or back of your brushes to scratch the branch of the trees. Give it a try. It'll be fun. Next in the ground area, as you can see, uh, with the paper first and create fallen leaves with yellow, orange, red, and a bit green colors. I also use a spreader scale and dotting for some spots. Next, um, next, this is the final step and I'm just going to add on the leaves spot with the color of the tree leaves. I'm surely saying it helps to look natural. For example, take the red color and put on the mostly yellow leaves. It will look natural. I'm just going to keep doing it until I'm happy with the amount of details. Just to give it a try, no worries. I hope it goes well. And finally, the sky looks a little empty, so I want to draw a few birds. You can add what you want. It will be more creative and a nice painting. Okay, we are all done. I hope you had a good time as I did. Thank you for watching the end of the painting. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. 